and welcome back my gardening friends well getting a chance to have a little warm just burning all the uh, important papers with anything on that we don't want uh, anybody else to uh, have that might use it accordingly it's on one of my uh, jobs to do for Mrs K and they always come first but what a wet horrible month it's been we've had about a week now of uh, dry weather everything's uh, getting a bit better I'm able to put my trainers on get this job done and we'll have a little uh, look round just to make sure every piece is burnt so Mrs K looking after me Wife, peaceful life. We always have to make sure that the uh, the fire is completely out before we leave the allotment. Anyway, we're allowed fires after twelve uh, until uh, dusk, but they have to be out completely, so there's no nothing smouldering away. And that happens like between October and March. So uh, we do try and get rid of our rubbish. Might as well burn this here while we can. So I'll get that finished off and then we'll have a little look round and see how we did with the jobs for January. Another good job done. And just for those that are asking, uh, I've took the microphone out. You see I'm moving it to the wrong side of the camera again. Uh, that's the microphone that I use and when I put it on the front, when I'm when you're looking at me it picks my voice up uh, really well and you'll probably see the difference when I put it back in again so uh, I took it under my shirt but it doesn't doesn't pick up my voice as well but you do hear the road noise it does pick up uh, everything from a good distance which is good most of the time right I'm holding the tablet holder now in my right hand so I can hang on where's my finger still, still can't find it so I can use my finger, just got to get used to it. But uh, yeah, these ashes will blow about and uh, go into the leaf mould. Uh, wood chip, sorry. Yeah, I was going to talk about leaf mould now. So I think we've got about nine bags left to put in the bin. It will take a bit more, but we'll top it up as and when we need to. Uh, these could still be here in uh, March, but we've got the room. Uh, it isn't too much of a problem. Uh, one of the other jobs uh, for January was to get the uh, greenhouse looking reasonably clean. Uh, I might take all the glass out next year to help that, but somebody did give me a suggestion on how to get rid of some of the green bits, but not overly fussy. So we actually cleaned all the guttering out. And if you want to look at my January playlist, you'll see everything uh, we've been doing. And uh, there's the uh, strawberries. These were the ones that we sliced and put into a container left over winter in the outdoor fridge. And then uh, we planted them up. So hopefully this year we'll, uh, we'll get a few crops, but I've topped the wood chips up for some from outside. These are the canes that fit perfectly in here. And we've covered the water, the gravity water system so the birds don't uh, make a mess and realistically they haven't been in here since then but no this is a good job done nice and clean and ready for the summer we've managed to get another pallet collar box in and we've got that round the tree to protect the stump and the trunk and i've placed that one there just to see how it's going to fit for the uh, the last tree so we'll be stopping it here somewhere uh, most of the posts have now rotten off with this uh, wet uh, winter that we've had but all I've done here exactly the same with the others I've just got uh, a bit of pipe it's split and that'll just stop uh, it uh, damaging uh, the trunk and the tulips uh, and bulbs that we had are all in there and we managed to get some over there in the middle of the screen out the way because in the future if the pallet collars keep coming this will all be uh, pallet collars 
and uh, we just need to do a little bit more weeding here and uh, we'll move the bench and maybe add two more blue barrels if we can get some more but they've dried up now I haven't gotten on for ages because they're using the uh, 10 litre little cans oh dear one thing I didn't do in January well we're still in January technically but uh, I do need to clear this up but that was one of the uh, jobs on the list I've highlighted it just need to weed that a little bit more and give it a, a little bit of uh, manure or something just to help it or a bit of liquid feed like I normally do but I do need to tidy this area up here as part of uh, January's job so I'll have to get that one done as soon as possible as you can see everything uh, is rotting off it might have rotted off anyway but uh, that's the autumn fruit in yellow raspberries uh, I'm going to take all this down this is just scrap wood I shall build a proper one now I know it works using the green strops they're single use green strops I managed to get quite a few and uh, we've uh, given them a little dressing of log ashes uh, these didn't fruit this year so we haven't cut them back so they're going to be summer fruiting so next year this year we'll get new shoots and we'll keep the new shoots for the following year always confusing summer fruiting and autumn fruiting raspberries so this is the whole row of autumn fruiting all being cut back now Add a nice little dressing it's about three handfuls per crown bunch whatever you want to call them still got to get this weeded but it wasn't part of the jobs for January because we knew we was going to be quite busy we've cut all the old wood out of the blackberries that's the best it's looked for a long time it does pay to uh, keep on top of these things there's a blackberry that we didn't didn't uh, harvest there's all the seeds probably easier to take a cut in uh, or I'm not sure whether it's still about but one of these ends actually touched the ground there we go it touched the ground and it rooted itself so you could quite easily propagate these just by uh, layering that's putting them on the ground stick a brick on it these are the giant cabbages I've managed to select uh, one good plant on that one to go to seed and uh, I think it may be a bit too late to harvest some of those bits on that one it's just started to go rotten but uh, we've done well for red cabbage this year because of the size of the actual heads i'm normally pretty good at keeping this edge nice and clear if you don't you get the weeds coming on the inside and this was a mare absolute mare this time i do need to get myself some uh, acacia compost for around the uh, blueberries they haven't had any log ashes notice but we've had another three handfuls uh, around of each of the plants and now we're looking at this we've got plenty of walkway so the green strapping along there we can tie those ones in and we should be able to walk down here during uh, the harvesting season yeah, so there's plenty of room but as you can see uh, i re religiously take out the three-year-old wood and you can still see the brown wood there and I've got to sacrifice a little bit so hopefully the old wood will produce as well as the new wood but some of the new wood won't and uh, we'll be harvesting these wood chips from the paths just in case we get a delivery and uh, that will be part of my seed mix uh, with the uh, leaf mould and uh, cocoa koi experimenting more next year with homemade compost because of the issues the rubbish that we're going to get because peat's going to be uh, removed from the compost we normally buy it's the asparagus bed weed free using the uh, the mulch same as the pea bean bed Let's see how the uh, sprouts are doing taken a few more they're still quite small 
Where's my finger gone? Sorry, guys. But uh, as you can see, by taking the tops out, they just sit there. Yeah, they go a bit manky. It's only a few bits of skin. And I don't think uh, we'll be uh, harvesting many off there. But I didn't want to pull them out. I want to take all the good ones first and then uh, dig down and get them out. So we cause as little root disturb uh, soil structure uh, as possible. The claret sprout in broccoli looking really lush now and uh, it won't be long before it gets another liquid uh, nitrogen feed just to give it uh, another boost then we'll get a bit of comfrey when it starts uh, when the florets start uh, forming we mentioned before how wet the winter had been and uh, a lot of the potatoes there that we harvested for seed which you may have seen in a previous video on the viper spectra um, we're not the best but hopefully underneath there there'll be uh, some uh, good ones and uh, talking of how much rain we've had uh, that's uh, got to be a third full and that's just from around about November so there's uh, at least uh, 18 inches of rain there or am I telling lies 12 inches we'll go for 12 inches I'm not a fisherman but yes lots of water so all the barrels are full uh, I need to take a parsnip today and as you can see uh, the uh, parsnips have just started to sprout again I can't use my right hand I've uh, damaged that a little bit but uh, again if you want to uh, grow parsnips uh, like me then uh, the bed behind whether you can see that or not will be my next parsnip bed and we'll need to prepare that uh, so that's worth uh, worth a watch let's just have a quick look at that one it's only a baby so we'll have that one out as well but a uh, little bit of canker on it but they've been in the ground all those covers are there to keep the moisture out still a little bit wet but not wet wet not like everything else has been but uh, I've been pleased with those we don't need many parsnips uh, they'll last us till at least March and beyond that wasn't one of the jobs for January but we're harvesting all the while we uh, do what we can and then uh, some of the jobs uh, for January was to make a start on the uh, polytunnel uh, build or restart we started this early uh, 2021 stopped in March time so that we get all the plants in so we was missing a window and all I've got to do is take those front pieces of wood off drop the window out in the summer which will leave the uh, environ mesh uh, I'm not going to put a window on it, it'll either be open or shut, but we can change that if we need to. And if nobody's seen the uh, pipes, the pipes go right into the bottom, siphon out into each other, so there's no moving water about for me these days. And those will be moved to here, once the old parsnip box is empty. We now have a door. I'll put the playlist for the uh, polytunnel build. So we've done the window exactly the same. Uh, we've used old bedstead uh, slats for most of this uh, build. Very, very little cost. Off cuts of uh, EnviroMesh. Uh, they'll just be permanently open to let a little bit of air circulation in. We've uh, repurposed uh, a bolt and I have got another old one that I found in the shed and it just fits nicely so if I ram a hollow piece of tube in the ground I can drop that latch into it and that will hold the door open uh, nicely if I do it nice and tight up against those two slabs which is holding those two barrels up that'll be just the job and thank you for the person on one of the videos that suggested angling that and drilling into the slabs but it'd be easier just to drop it into uh, a bar i'll be doing that uh, probably in february uh, i'm keeping on top of watering in here when i remember guys oh no that's looking 
that's looking better it's going to take a while to get used to the camera being on the left hand side of the tablet I've taken all the nearly all the sweet peas field beans out of uh, the compost bin as you can see some of them uh, have gone a little bit brown and wilted didn't like the cold but hopefully uh, there'll be enough out of these two trays to give me enough uh, of a broad bean crop when I plant them out I've got a few chilies for the mice see if they like them and I'm going to use some one litre two litre bottles over the top similar to allotmental to help protect them uh, from the uh, the mice but I've noticed it's a lot damper on the floor since we've sealed it up but I haven't seen any condensation uh, under there we've got uh, some food for the mice and uh, we've caught a few and nothing else has been uh, taken so we've, uh, we've stopped them there and we've stopped them here because they can't get to it because it's held up uh, with the uh, string this is the best way but it's when we get them back out into the ground that's the issue still got lots of potatoes christmas potatoes some oh some charlotte oh i need to save some of those but uh, yeah the yellow labels and the uh, heading 750 marker pen uh, helps because it doesn't uh, fade yeah lots of potatoes still to harvest as and when we want them we very rarely have to buy potatoes one of the jobs for january was pot washing it's too cold i'm not doing it i didn't get time did i i haven't even emptied the water out but uh, as you can see everything is uh, just full which is good but uh, yeah, definitely need to give uh, all the pots a swell, even though the uh, rain's probably done most of it uh, for me. So the peas have now gone. We've chopped and dropped uh, the uh, green manure. Uh, the frames uh, down there. And uh, we've marked up where the green manure was and that's all been uh, buried. But on some of these, I need to get a bit more plastic in just so that uh, we stop the uh, wood soaking in uh, all the moisture and uh, some of the pallet collars aren't brilliant but if we get them for free we still have to try and look after them a little bit uh, and that's had green manure as well so they're all labelled up ready for the coming growing season and we can top these up as and when the uh, green manure sinks so it'll be a good comparison from this bed to that bed and that one over there to see uh, how different the crops will be and we'll try some uh, peas sugar snap peas etc nothing done with the long roots the actual structure we know where we want to be on it but uh, at the moment uh, it will have to wait it's been cold month done a little bit of gritting not too much it hasn't killed me still here and as you probably know I've got a new tablet the camera's on the left hand side so I'm just getting used to that now uh, switching it on and off in the right place so I don't cut you off and remembering to put it in my right hand when I do want to do the wiggle finger with my uh, left hand I bought uh, six bags of uh, compost while our allotment shop has still got some and that should last me uh, two years uh, and I do prefer uh, that uh, variety uh, costs more less literage but uh, that's my preference uh, for some of the uh, seeds but as I've said earlier I'm going to be doing more on uh, making my homemade compost and seed compost etc the wife's changing the microwave so I'm going to have that in my shed and I can sterilize it uh, in the microwave hopefully there won't be any seeds grow then you wouldn't think that these were wood chips uh, couple of three years ago uh, birds keep twisting them there's a few big bits there but most of it it's broke down and once it's sieved it does make an ideal you can see how wet it's been it's just all curled up but it uh, move your hand over silly but uh, it's uh, cracking stuff because everything gets dropped on it weeds bits of compost etc thumbs up thumbs down my friends uh, leave me a comment 
do appreciate it. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Draw for now.